Hello, we're here today with uh, Jason Weiss, one of our net backup tech experts, to talk about uh, SharePoint on VMware and how net backup can help protect such infrastructures. Yes, right, absolutely. Yep, right. great. Thanks, Bill. So, as we know, net backup uh, has a tight integration with VMware. So, when it, uh, the partnership that we've had is leveraging what's called the vStorage API for data protection or VADP. Uh, so, as customers, more and more of, of you are deciding to virtualize your environments specifically to the application. Uh, SharePoint. So it's an increasing trend, which ensure, which means you have to make sure your backup recovery procedures are in place. Um, so I'm going to walk us through the process for uh, protecting the SharePoint application inside VMware. Uh, so as part of this integration, leveraging VADP, uh, we leverage what's called VRay, which is our mapping service to um, map the VMDK files, the blocks, and so we can intelligently look inside that VMDK file and uh, do things like single file restore of individual files and folders. So single pass backup, we can back up the entire virtual machine, we can back up individual files and folders, or what we'll talk about today is the SharePoint application. So we can back up the SharePoint components, uh, the SharePoint farm, and all the components that are associated with that. So here we have uh, our uh, virtual infrastructure, vCenter, a couple of three ESX servers, virtual machines, and I'll talk about these components. On this side, we've got the net backup server, master media server. We've got a disk dedupe device as well as tape. So this represents a, a typical uh, customer environment, backup recovery infrastructure. So uh, as you can see here, I have a net backup agent that gets installed on all the SharePoint servers. Uh, this could be the, the front end. This could be the index server, web server. These might be one server. These might be multiple servers. <clears throat> and then you have the SQL server that houses the content databases. So Net backup, you, know, you define a policy, policy type VMware. There's an option there to enable SharePoint recovery. And I'll talk about some of the recovery uh, ability. Define a policy. Net backup uh, authenticates to the vCenter or the ESX. You provide the credentials so it can log into the virtual environment and detect uh, <coughs> where the VMs are and uh, properly authenticate. So net backup, uh, in terms of protecting the SharePoint application, communicates to the front end server. Uh, so that's always the case. It, it communicates to the uh, front end server, does a real time uh, farm discovery, uh, topology resolution. So it actually goes out and runs BP Resolver. So it finds out where my index, web servers, SQL server components are. So it ensures that all the components that reside to, uh, specific to uh, SharePoint are backed up in a timely fashion. We'll talk about the application GRT, which is the granular restore technology. So you can drill down and uh, be able to restore individual objects, specifically to SharePoint, like documents, lists, blogs, wikis. Um, <clears throat> and I already mentioned about the farm level support. So as customers, you might ask, well, why would I be interested in protecting SharePoint inside VMware? Well, you're already backing up the virtual machines, the VMDK files. We already talked about the application consistency leveraging the VSS writer for vSphere that gets installed. And uh, you know, this might be a good case to talk about application testing. So if you want to talk about upgrading SharePoint from 2010 to 2013 or 2007 to 2013, patching, upgrading, you know, maybe you're talking about spinning up a new SharePoint environment on a new operating system, new Windows version, uh, or a new SQL Server version, right? So this is a good, good example to, to be able to walk through that process. As the SharePoint backups get written, uh, the, the GRT backups get written to disk or DDoP device. We can write those to disk and we can leverage what's called SLPs or storage lifecycle policies. So if we wanted to be able to migrate that off to tape, maybe that's uh, for longer term retention. Maybe we want to replicate to an another device that could be a, an appliance or a third party device. <clears throat> we can uh, replicate and duplicate those, those images off to another site, another location, or just you know, within the same data center. So once again, you know, we have deep integration net back with VMware to protect the SharePoint application and all its various components. <clears throat> From a recoverability perspective, we talked about we, we can restore the entire virtual machine, individual files and folders, um, as well as the SharePoint objects. So if you wanted to talk about the GRT functionality or the SharePoint databases, uh, you can restore those to the original or alternate location. All right, well, thanks, Jason. As I heard you talk about uh, things like VSS compliance, GRT, single pass backups, VADP integration, SLP technology, all I heard was 
you know, comprehensive solution for backing up SharePoint on VMware. So Absolutely. Great stuff. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.